okay so welcome back to this channel so in my previous videos i have discussed about nest.js file uploads and then authorization so in this video we will discuss all about api security okay so we will use some packages to secure our api and also we will implement the rate limiting so first of all if i go to this security i have here this helmet okay so we already have implemented the authentication authorization we are encrypting our passwords and then saving those encrypted passwords in our database now we have to implement uh, this uh, helmet so helmet is basically a package that help us to secure our uh, express app or you can say that nest.js apps by setting some http headers so by default helmet will set all these http headers in the response and will secure our app okay it is very popular package you can see that here we just have to install that okay and then we have to set that i copy it from here go back and then we can install this package and to use that we simply have to call this helmet so i will import the helmet go back uh, in the source main.ts and here i will import that and then we can call that here that is going to be app.use then we can call, type in here helmet like this so now if i start my application npm run start dev okay so it will start my application and now if i go back to my chrome you can see that here so it will set these headers so now if i go back to my postman and now if i click on send okay and if i go to the headers you can see that here we have all these headers here that is set by um helmet you can see that x download options right here and all these options so it will protect our application and now after setting up the helmet we can also set up our cores so you can see that here a course which is cross origin resource sharing is a mechanism that allow resources to be requested from another domain for example you have your front end and now you want to send your request from the front end to this api okay so you have to protect this api from unauthorized requests like we cannot allow anybody to send requests to our api and consume our api we can only allow certain domains to send the request and use this api okay so we can use this course for that and to use that i simply go uh, back to my vs code i can type in here that app dot enable course and in that we can pass some options let's say i i will type in here origin you can type in here origin all like everyone can access that or i can put in here my own domain for example i type here that only http localhost port let's say 4000 from the front end can access this api okay if i save it from here and that is actually it so in this way we can set the course okay and make sure to add your own domains that you want to allow so now we have added the helmet we have added the codes we have protected our api and now there is one more option that is crf protection but this documentation is quite outdated okay this package is actually outdated so i will not discuss about that okay i will move on toward the rate limiting which is really important so rate limiting means that we have to limit uh, the number of requests that a person or a user can send to our api in a particular time for example we can uh, write that a user cannot send more than uh, three requests in a second so we can use this rate limiting technique uh, to uh, minimize those requests so for that we have to use a package that is called throttler so we have to install it so i will copy it from here go back and i will install that and then we will use that so nest.js slash throttler and then we have to we can use that on the app level like this or we can also use that on a particular module level or on a route level okay so first of all let's use that i go back and then i can go in my app.module.ts and i can use that there so in the imports i can type in here that throttler module okay so we have to import this throttler module and then dot for root and then in that we can pass our options so we have to set in here the ttl which is the time let's set it to oops um i call it like 10000 and then we can set in here the limit that is going to be 3 okay so this is the time and this is the limit now let me run that and then i will explain that and let's make it 5000 for now and then we have to go in our uh, module so i go in the let's say book 
then book.module.ts and then you have to use that here. So I will simply pass in here that provide and that is going to be app underscore guard from nest.js slash core and then we have to provide in here the use class. So use class is going to be throttler guard uh, like this. Okay, if I save it from here now and now let's go back to our postman. Now if I click on send, you can see that throttler exception too many requests. Okay, so in this way we can limit our request like this. So here this 5000 is in milliseconds. Okay, so if I type here 1, this means that this is 1 second. So if I type here 5 multiply by 1000, this means that user can only send 3 requests in 5 seconds. So in this way we can limit our user. And we can also use that on a specific route. For example, if I go to my book uh, controller, so let's go to the book controller.ts and let's use that here. First of all, let's use here a decorator that is called skip throttle. So it will skip this route from the throttle. If I save it, now if I go back, even if I send the request, it is not going to work because I have used this skip. So now it will skip this route from using the throttler. Okay. So in this way, we can use this skip throttler to skip any specific route if we want to. And also we can give throttler to a specific route. If I type in here like add uh, throttle in that, we can pass options. Okay. So we can pass in here like default value that is going to be let's say limit is going to be 3 and then time is going to be let's say um, 2000. Let's actually make it to let's say um, only one request per 2 seconds. If I save it go back send you can see that we will quickly get this error. Okay. So in this way you can set the throttle on a route level like this, you can skip the throttle and you can also provide the default value at the app level like here. So in this way we can implement the rate limiting, okay. So I have implemented rate limiting, helmet and then the cores and also if I go back you can also apply the multiple throttles like this, this short, medium and long. So in short a user can send 3 requests per second, so in medium user can send 20 requests per 10 seconds. And in long, user can send 100 requests per 60 uh, seconds. So in this way, you can also define the limits for different categories, short, medium or long. Okay. So in this way, it will work. So that's it for this video. I hope that you understand we have successfully implemented helmet codes, rate limiting. And before that, we have already implemented authentication, authorization, role-based authorization, and then the encrypting and hashing of our password. So if you have any question, you can post in the comment section. I will try my best to respond there. So that's it. I will see you in some other video.